Well, a crime this violent hasn't taken place in La Crosse County for decades. News 8 Now's Jordan Fremstad spoke with people who live nearby the scene. And Jordan, we talked about this. The best way to describe how they're feeling is stressed. Yeah, that's right, Amy. We're about a mile south of the quarry right now where investigators are doing their work. As you can see, the road behind me here is closed. Lots of people have had to turn around in disappointment. So if you're coming from West Salem or Holman, you want to avoid this area as you're not going to be able to get through, as you just mentioned. And in the middle of the cornfields, bluffs, and trees that you see behind me, there are several homes in this area where people are building their lives and have families. And several of the people I spoke to had a very nervous look in their eye, a very stressed look. Uh, something like this not typical for the countryside of West Salem two people I spoke to this evening saying they expect something like this in a big metropolitan community but not so close to their own backyard seems like there's something just about every few years that there's something going on now here this way and something like this for a small community rural area like this that's and the nature of the crime that happened it's too close to home, you know. Now, something neighbors brought up is this isn't the first time an investigation of this nature has happened along this road. If you'll remember back in 2016, Todd Kenhammer, who was convicted of murdering his wife after an incident that occurred not too far where we're standing along County Road M here, a neighbor that we spoke to tonight who you just heard from, he actually lives in this house right behind me, and he remembered that situation clearly here in rural Hamilton. He's saying this situation occurring here tonight, just adding another difficult thing to process for neighbors in in this small community. Reporting live in the town of Hamilton tonight, I'm Jordan Fremstead, News 8 Now. All right, thank you, Jordan. And remember, if you have concerns, the sheriff did tell us he is very confident that this was a targeted attack. It was not random. Again, you can follow all of our coverage. We hope to update you with more information. The sheriff is expecting some more information later this evening. You can find any updates online at news8000.com and, of course, here on News 8 Now.